Hello traders, hello investors, how are you guys doing today my friends? Welcome to another video here in the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan and today Tesla is going up 3.34% right now. It is doing a very impressive movement. Today's candlestick bar is quite impressive indeed. However, today is a relatively weird day. Uh, most of the mega cap stocks, they are not doing anything meaningful right now. They are going up a little bit, they are dropping a little bit. Uh, SPY is going up 0.14%, QQQ 0.46%, while fut uh, the ES future is actually dropping minus 0.25%, along with VIX, the fear index, which is also dropping 2.64%. So, you know, the Dow Jones is also dropping. So, you see, today is indeed a relatively weird and complex day to read, but uh, we have some important key points. We can find some meaning out of this. Uh, just first remember, my dear friends, to click on the like button to support this channel and subscribe because I'm going to keep you guys updated on what's the best regarding price action and technical analysis in this channel on Tesla and many other stocks like Apple, Neo, AMD, Nvidia, and much more. All right. Now, regarding Tesla's price action, today's movement is indeed quite impressive. And uh, to be honest with, with you guys, I totally overestimated the bears uh, recently because I was honestly, I was expecting a pullback at least to the 21 Iman in the daily chart. All right. At least. Uh, but uh, we couldn't hit that point. And, and right now we are near a resistance level again, which is the $300 area. This point is at the same time a quite meaningful psychological resistance and it was at the same time uh, a top level on August 25, August 24 up here. Okay, so this point, the 300 is the most important resistance to break in the short term. By breaking this resistance, I do believe you're gonna seek the next resistance area between 313, 318 up here, but uh, right now, right now, we are going up, we are totally bullish, I see many bullish structures right now, and, and, and what's interesting, we, could, we couldn't fill this gap over here at 289.50, uh, we barely dropped, we crashed a little bit, and right now, we are recovering nicely this movement is quite impressive it is an it is an indicator that yes tesla is truly bullish now what could possibly frustrate this bullish thesis uh, well before i continue it is important to tell that right now uh, we broke the 21 ima again because yesterday we lost our support level we lost the 21 ima the 21 ima worked as a resistance level for us one two three times and and today we broke the ima along with yesterday's high uh although i couldn't record any video yesterday i told you guys on my newsletter that by breaking the ima along with yesterday's high today we would see a very nice and important bullish structure on tesla and we could easily fill this gap over here so remember guys this is why it is very important to subscribe my newsletter check my website the link is in the description of this video i offer daily analysis daily insights on tesla spy and many other stocks and i also share my own portfolio to you guys uh how good is your portfolio nathan well check my performance is here it is totally transparent we are beating the market by a mile our performance is outstanding in fact we are outperforming tesla by a mile so i think you guys are going to be pleased with my performance with my portfolio i think you guys are going to like it our track record dates back from 2021 so it is a quite solid track record. I think you guys are going to be impressed with, with my services. Now, uh, back to Tesla. We feel it, this gap over here. Now, it seems we indeed, this point over here is indeed a meaningful resistance for us, right? If Tesla breaks this area up here, 
I think you're gonna resume the bullish sentiment and you're gonna be extremely bullish for the next few days or even the next few weeks. Now, what could frustrate our bullish thesis? Well, our thesis will be frustrated if, in my humble opinion, we lose yesterday's low around $290. Why? Because it is gonna give me the impression that we are gonna see a double top chart pattern over here. If that's the case, our bullish thesis will be totally frustrated and we will see Tesla trading at lower price levels. All right, then it's not, then Tesla is not gonna be bullish anymore. It's not gonna be necessarily bearish in the midterm, but uh, it is going to ruin our bullish thesis for good. All right, either way, Tesla is still extremely bullish. I like the volume, I like today's candle, I like the fact it is doing a very impressive reaction after yesterday's crash. I like the fact it is trying to do a bullish pivot point over here in the one hour chart. Uh, it seems we are finding a support level near the EMA right now. So yeah, I think Tesla is obeying the price action with astonishing precision, even in a day like yesterday with CPI numbers. I think Tesla is still relatively easy to understand, uh, but we'll see if it is going to frustrate our bullish thesis or not. I think not. We'll see, right? So I will keep you guys updated every single day in this channel. Remember to subscribe. Remember to, to subscribe my newsletters. I think you guys are going to love my performance. My services to you guys are outstanding. Uh, so yeah, I think this is it. See you guys tomorrow, my dear friends. Thank you very much for your audience. Stay safe. Farewell.